I was in Paris last week, and you know, Paris applied in 2014 with this idea that they wanted to work on heat island and pollution and river flooding, send river flooding. And then 2015 happened, where you get uh, you know, the attacks of Charlie Hebdo on November 13th. And what we really did is challenge the mayor, and this was incredibly, it just resonated so well in Paris last week, is that every euro you spend on environment and meeting the commitments to COP21, you should have an inclusion screen right. so you begin to address the issues of what it means to be French and Parisian and a new immigrant here and radicalization, all of those, all of those issues. And all of a sudden, people said, that's a, a, a real changing of the frame. Exactly. Could, could and revolutionary. It's, it's that reframing. So recall in New Orleans when um, the stunning statistic that 55%, I think, of African-American males were unemployed. And they had a great strategy around building new flooding uh, controls and building new piping. And, and they were going to spend, I think, $3 billion yeah. uh, that had already been authorized through federal recovery funding and, and some other sources. And the idea that you would use those jobs yeah. and intentionally use it as an opportunity for inclusion and train that part of the population of unemployed black males, yeah. as long as you're going to be looking for people to train anyways so that suddenly you're fulfilling multiple goals at the same time with the same dollars spent. And I think over and over again in every city, we're seeing the power of that idea. Yeah.